They know everything. They don't. Kristen Stewart's royal transformation is complete. The actress channels Princess Diana in the first trailer for the anticipated biographical drama Spencer out this November. Fans are finally getting a full look at Kristen as the late icon and the chance to hear a snippet of her British accent, which Kristen told Access Hollywood last year she was worried about getting exactly right. I'm gonna totally mess it up and I'm gonna, talk, I'm, gonna I'm just gonna kinda do my own thing and um, <laughs> No, I, I, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure I'll, I'll mess it up. No, 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 no. I, I, I've never, I, I've, I've not been as consumed by something in so long. So whatever the result of that is, I'm sure it'll be something worthwhile to at least myself, <laughs> maybe others, whatever. <laughs> Directed by Pablo Lorraine, the film takes place over the 1991 Christmas holiday at the Queen's Sandringham Estate when Diana was struggling with the decision to end her marriage to Prince Charles, played by Jack Farthing. The teaser comes one day after Spencer dropped its first poster, depicting Diana's turmoil as she slumps over with her head in her hands while dressed in an elegant ball gown. Kristen has been generating Oscar buzz for her work since the first look images of her in costume dropped earlier this year, and her award season campaign is now in full swing. Diana would have turned 60 this year. The beloved figure and humanitarian died in a Paris car crash in 1997 as she and boyfriend Dodi Fayed were attempting to flee the paparazzi. Dodi was also killed in the accident along with their driver. Diana's sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, along with her brother, Charles Spencer, paid tribute to her legacy this summer with a ceremony unveiling a statue of her at the sunken garden in Kensington Palace, a favorite place of Diana's. Royal expert Charlie Langston shared with Access Hollywood recently why Diana remains such an iconic and inspirational figure and how she influenced the monarchy's relationship with the public forever. Princess Diana wanted to be the queen of people's hearts because she knew how important human connection was and that was something that she really felt that she was lacking within the royal family. The royals are not infamously touchy-feely people. They aren't particularly affectionate to one another. Now, that's not to say that they don't love one another, but it really isn't something that happens regularly in the royal family. They aren't big huggers. They don't kind of make a big show and display of their emotions. And for Diana, that was something very difficult to deal with. So she let her emotions out when she was interacting with the people. She hugged. She had wonderful conversations, she laughed, she got to know people's children, and that really did make her the people's princess.